Alrighty then. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 6. Moving forward, in today's episode, we set out to do many, many, many things, but basically to keep moving forward. So, we had a lot of reflection about stuff, we had a lot of ideas about stuff, but basically, Snippet 4 and 5 are now complete. Snippet 4 and Snippet 5 are these pieces of music. This is the one that has a Raga theme at the beginning. And it has a set of introductory and line 1 and line 2 using all the chords. Snippet in the shadow scale. Snippet 5 is variations on the theme. But now we are using everything in the light chords for, for everything. And then today, we finally got Snippet 6 handled with its own Raga theme. And one of the interesting tricks about 5 and 6 is that because there are certain chords that are not in the totality of the scale we're working in, we had to use a passing chord, in this case it was A to D flat to C, because we had no passing, we had no tonality chord. So we did all that. And again, we composed um, this. So uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. So in addition to completing 4, 5, and now 6, and talking about adding custom passing chords and the cadences, there were there were 32 total chords in the 2552 tonality. So our intro line, instead of being a, a nice handleable, you know, four bars, uh, we're using 44 bars over here. <laughs> But that allowed us to use 14 chords, and then we could then go down to our regular two-line structure way down here. Nine chords focusing on minor and nine chords focusing on major. And so that worked out. So we got that to work. And we also felt that this intro of 44 bars is quite melodic and pleasing and might be well worth composing a standalone piece on its own. Explore a standalone uh, 44 bar intro piece from 2552. On the other hand, we actually did compose a piece that, that uses a lot of those canes. So that's kind of up in the air. So as usual, we'll give ourselves uh, leeway to say and other stuff to be determined. So, the next thing we did is we took those 4, 5, and 6, and we just took the Raga theme and put them alone into uh, what we call Snippet 7, which is pure Raga site theme with all the variations on the chords, which is this. And then we started madly exporting MP3 files from there because we wanted to get and make an animation. And so this is the animation that we've come up with. Um, the idea here is color shadow overlay. That's what it says up here. So at the upper layer, we have red and green and blue lights. And then we, in the middle layer, we're gonna have um, kind of blocking barriers. So the red directly lights up the blocking barrier, but red and green can pass through between these barriers. And then you can see Red and green make yellow, and green and blue make cyan, and blue and red make magenta. So, and then what we did is we animated that so that um, the music is driving the lights, and it's driving the direct color shadows, and it's driving the indirect color shadows, and we're kind of lowering the intensity from five up here to two, 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 one the further away you get from the bright light. 
So what we want to do is um, we'd actually like to play that for you because that is the, um, the Raga snippet. So that'll be snippet seven. But before we play uh, snippet seven, we'd like to play the uh, snippet six. At least the um, the the uh, intro and the and the uh, the thirty two chord wonder. So we're going to play this first, and then we'll play the visualization, and then we'll wrap up. So here we go with snippet six, which is the dark scale, thirty two chords. So for snippet six, uh, the next steps, as we said here, is they need to I mean, look at those backbones some more. We've been learning a lot about tuning backbones to sound more melodic and also add a polyphonic line to make that sound good. Um, you can actually hear that here in snippet five. We tune the backbone and the polyphonic line to go together. Here's, and we'll play this for you real quick. And the reason we're kind of harping on these is even though they're not as pretty and melodic as that piece we just played, that piece we've done before. These parts we feel are unfamiliar new territory and have the potential to keep working with them and moving forward as our theme is to, to evolve cool new stuff that we like. Just like the, the work we did in the past, we liked a lot after a lot of uh, working with it. So to kind of bring us home, this is the, the three Raga variations in an animated form. And let's just take a listen and a look at that. Again, you're going to see three lights and six shadows or seven shadows. So that concludes today's t stream. Thank you as always for your time and attention. A shout out to a starving peasant. Thanks for checking in. And we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>